Hey everyone and welcome to the tutorial on the Absinthe Granular Module. So today we'll be looking at how to manipulate the position of the sample independently of time and pitch. And what this will enable us to do is scan through the spectrum of the sample that we have loaded. And we'll only look briefly at the actual settings of the granular module itself and we'll more be focusing on the envelope. So we just go to the sample mode, which is in this section here, and I'll load up a sample I have prepared earlier, which is a piano. It plays a few notes in succession, so I'll just play a key. Okay, so that's the sample, and I'll just set it to the correct note value which is actually middle C. Basically middle C is where the sample is played back at its original pitch and in this case if I set the note to 60 it's going to be playing middle C on every key. So here's the sample. Actually it is in stereo as well. Okay, so that's the sample as it is unprocessed, uh, but we'll go to the granular module now, and what this will do is split up the sample into individual grains that can be freely manipulated. We'll first just make some adjustments, so I'll turn the start position somewhere in the middle and I'll just freeze it there so we'll turn the time percentage to zero Okay, so that's basically how the, the time is frozen, but I just want to explain that you need to do that if you want to avoid playing back the sample at a speed, uh, if you want full control over the sample playback position. So if I kept it here, for example... So you can hear that the sample's still being played back at the given speed, but in order to freeze the time on a position in the sample, you need to set the time percentage to zero. Then, if we want to envelope this position itself, we go to maximum. We take this up to 100% so we can envelope up to that point. So I'll right click on the start parameter and create new envelope. So we have this envelope created. So in the oscillator A sample start envelope, we have the start position in the vertical axis, as implied by the title here, and the time in the horizontal axis. And the sample is about four seconds long. So just for a visual reference, we'll drag that to four seconds or I can type in four. And so I like the position of about 40%. So I'll go there and I'll create a third breakpoint to freeze the time at a point. So we'll freeze the time for like three or two and a half seconds. So that breakpoint is two and a half seconds from the first one and I'll make it more horizontal. I'll drag them down to 40%. And I'll set the last break point to two seconds and the first to two seconds so that they're playing at the original speed. 
and I just have to smooth this out again. This is, I'll just type 40, and 40. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Okay, that worked quite well. Uh, actually, we can take this final breakpoint and drag it back to the beginning of the sample so that the position plays backwards. We'll do that in two seconds. Okay, so once it reached the beginning of the sample again, it actually reached a sustain point in the envelope, which is where the the position is held. And once I released the key, it immediately jumped to the release envelope here. To really smooth out the release portion, go to the oscillator A amp envelope and I'll hold down shift to add this to the window and just zoom in a bit you can see that the two release the two green release envelopes are they're different lengths so we're going to have the the volume drop down earlier than we actually hear this portion so we just check how long this is. This is one second. So how about we make it 1.5 and then we go to the amp envelope and make that 1.5. And we'll drag the curve upwards so it's a more slower curve of the volume. And now we'll listen to that. <laughs> Okay, well I hope you found that helpful. Granular synthesis is a very powerful tool, so this is just one of the many things you can do with it. I will be detailing many of the features of Absynth and the modules in future videos, so if you have any questions, send me a message or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.